welcome back to another episode of Silas's Story. So, um, I think this is going to be the last episode of season two. Um, a lot has happened in season two. Uh, we started season two with Skyla as a toddler. <laughs> so, um, a lot has happened, but it is now time for Skyla to move out on her own. She has $1,500. Um, and Silas has told her, you know, you are more than welcome to come home anytime. Um, but they found a little trailer um, that is just going to be big enough for Skyla and the baby. Um, and so she has decided that, you know, since she graduated high school early and everything, um, it's really, you know, she needs to kind of, you know, get it together and do what she needs to do to um, take care of her baby. So there's a couple uh, different trailer options. Um, so these two trailers are pretty big um, and they're just not going to be feasible for Skyla to um, to be able to afford. This one is not big enough. This one is only one bedroom. Um, and so she kind of has the choice between these two trailers. Now this one is much dumpier it's not as nice uh but the landlord has told her you know feel free to you know um paint it change the flooring whatever you need to do um you know just just feel free to make it your own and you know if you want to fix it up then um you know i'll, I'll kind of knock some off your rent and so Skyla was like, okay, I, I can do that. And so what she's going to do is she's going to go ahead and purchase this. Um, she's going to sign the lease agreement um, and she's moving in. And that $1,500 that she has um, is all that she's going to have to be able to furnish this place. Okay, so now it is going to come with some things. Um, so we're if it doesn't actually come with them, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cheat the money to be able to buy the things. Um, because you don't just get a, a trailer with like nothing um, in it. But this is Skyla's trailer. Um, so what we're going to have to do is we are going to have to cheat a couple of things. So here's what I think I'm going to do. I don't think it's feasible to that you would like move into a trailer that like didn't have a bathroom <laughs> like at all. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn this little area into a bathroom um, and we will we'll add those funds back to Skyla's uh, bank because I just don't think that they would have a uh, a trailer with no bathroom it just doesn't make sense okay so now we have everything that the trailer comes with so it comes with the plumbing it obviously comes with the fridge the stove and the counters uh, but it's going to be Skyla's job to kind of furnish everything else so the first thing that she's going to need is obviously a bed um, now we are going to go with something probably pretty cheap um, honestly, I think she would probably start out with just like an air mattress on the floor. Um, it is, it's not nice. It is not fun. Um, it's definitely not something she enjoys, uh, but it, it just kind of is. Um, and then I think what she would probably do is she would probably have something like this, um, for her clothes, basically just a place for her to kind of store her clothing and everything. I don't know that there's really enough room in here for a dining table. And then in the living room, obviously she needs a little couch. Um, oh, she doesn't have enough for that one. Shoot. Um, well, I, I kind of wanted to go with something that was kind of dingy and gross and obviously used you know um maybe we'll just go with that for now um and then here's the thing I just don't know if I want to spend that money she's gonna need a desk as well um because she's gonna have to have a way to like use the computer and everything 
Ugh, not that she has the money to buy a computer or anything. Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, maybe we'll just do this little love seat. Maybe that's what we'll do. Um, and that leaves her with a whole ten dollars. <laughs> um, so not great, um, but good enough <laughs> for right now. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and put her piggy bank up here, and we're gonna, you know, she's gonna put some of her pictures and stuff on the walls. Um, we can go ahead and get rid of this. Uh, this was a birthday gift, and we definitely don't want to get rid of that. I could sell these upgrade parts. That's a good idea. Let's do that. Let's sell these upgrade parts, and that will give us uh, some more simoleons to work with here. Ugh, still not enough to purchase a computer, um, so that kind of stinks. Um, but it could be enough for us to, number one, we're going to need a thermostat. Um, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, kind of say that this, this came with the unit and I'm going to add that 125 back, um, because I don't feel like the unit would have come without a thermostat. Um, but we also need a sink for the kitchen. Um, so we got to put a sink here and that leaves this one counter for her to be able to cook on, um. Can we maybe add another counter here? I mean, can she still? Oh, I just don't like the way that. No, I just, I don't think that's going to work. Um, oh, we need a trash can. We don't have a trash can. Yeah, that's going to be important. All right, we're going to go ahead and put the trash can over here for right now. Um, well, or, oh no. Or we could, gosh dang it, <laughs> there. Or we could put the trash can here next to the fridge. I feel like that makes a little bit more sense. Kind of have this old kind of raggedy coffee table, which is fine. Um, and we don't have enough for, for even a little penguin TV. Um, maybe... I mean, if we sell that chair, we would. Here's what I think we're going to do. I think we're going to get rid of the dining room table for right now. We'll do this old kind of TV. We'll get her a little decoration box. Yeah, I think that's good. Okay, so uh, we have Winterfest in a couple of days. And so... Mm, yeah, we're not we're not really gonna we're not gonna worry about prank day <laughs> uh, We got a lot going on right now. So select everyday decorations So the thing is um, here's the other thing Sean passed away uh, Silas's dad um, he did pass away. So um, That was kind of sad um, I had this weird glitch in my game where everybody aged up for some reason except Skyla So I had to age everybody down again um, but Skyla hits her second trimester in 16 hours, which is a lot. Um, she's really excited, uh, because, you know, it's been a couple weeks, um, now since she found out she was pregnant and, you know, um, she's a little concerned, obviously, um, but she's also excited. Um, I think what she's going to do is she's going to kind of rant about her stress a little bit in her journal. Um, and she's probably just going to, you know, write in there about you know, getting ready to have a baby and everything. Is She is going to just kind of make herself a little something to eat. Um, she is feeling pretty hungry. Uh, so probably just some eggs and toast, um, something kind of light uh, to go to deal with the morning sickness. But while she's doing that, let's take a look at this. Uh, motherhood worries from teen pregnancy. No matter how Skyla feels about pregnancy, being a pregnant teen carries its share of freak outs. What will she do about school? Well, university. Um, 
how to take care of the baby. Where will she find all the necessary money? How to deal with everyone's judgment? The list of worries goes on and on. Oh, sweetheart. Oh, she has five hours until she hits her second trimester. And y'all, I'm not ready. <laughs> I am not ready. I am so, I don't know. I'm just like, she's my baby. And like, she is close to aging into a young adult. Her birthday is, uh, you know, in less than a week. Um, so, you know, she is growing up. It's not like, you know, she's probably, she's probably 17. Um, so she still is a teenager. She's doing the very best that she can. And we're very, very proud of her. So, um, actually, we need to set this as the bathroom sink because I love that they were able to set the sink type now. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, you guys, look. Skyla is now ready to try to make peace with her pregnancy if she feels so inclined. Oh my gosh, I love that. Ooh, it's cold. Okay, let's have her come in and set the thermostat to warmer. And then she's going to come in and sit down. And I think I do want her to try to make peace with her pregnancy um so let's see how do we do that uh make peace with pregnancy made peace from accepting pregnancy things won't be easy but skyla has decided she can get through this and make the best of the situation for herself and everyone else involved oh i love that i think i want to invite silas over um because i think she's gonna ask silas for a small loan um just, you know, to help her get the money she needs to uh, submit her her university uh, application. We have to pay $61 for our rent. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and invite Silas in. This loan now is even more important than before. So... Um, friendly, and then let's see. How do I ask for the loan? <laughs> oh, ask to accompany to childbirth? <gasps> yes, of course she would want her dad there. Um, actually, I don't want to do that right now. Let's wait till we're inside <laughs> to do that. Um, okay, let's have them. Okay, she's going to invite him in. Let's have her do that. Let's have them go inside before we do anything else. Okay. So now that they're inside, let's see. Asked to be Sim of Honor, what? Congratulate on engagement? What? Him and Maria got engaged? She just moved out yesterday. What the heck happened? Oh my gosh. Oh, here it is. Ask for a small loan. Here we go. We're going to ask for a small loan. I can't believe Silas and Maria are engaged. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Here you go, Skyla. Try to pay back when you can. Oh, he gave her $500. Oh my gosh. Okay, she needs to give him a huge hug. So she's going to do hug lovingly. And then, of course, I want her to invite him to feel the baby. Okay, I don't know if he felt the baby or not, but that's fine. Anyway, she needs to go in and pay her bills and her rent now that she got the money from her dad. And Dwayne was calling, asking her out on a date, but he lives in Sulani. So, and then let's do this. Let's have some brunch. Let's have some pancakes. Pancakes sound good. Okay, Skyla has reached cooking level four. And she's kind of chit-chatting with her landlord, Panya. And Skyla is going to make a phone call to her obstetrician. Um, and she is going to elect for a natural delivery. And we're going to choose that option. And so she just kind of uh, called and went over kind of her birth plan with her doctor and everything. And then tomorrow, she actually goes for her ultrasound, which is really exciting. Skyla feels all right about the idea of having a child now. It started out as, as a terrible shock and horrible news, but now it's not so bad. She made some peace with the idea. She can get through this. So um, I've used the freeze pregnancy functionality of the mod to be able to freeze her pregnancy in the second trimester for right now uh, because I don't want her pregnancy to progress too far before we're able to get the ultrasound and everything. Um, but before she heads off to work, she just needs to use the bathroom really quick. Um, and then she's going to go ahead and 
head out and hopefully make some money. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. Skyla earned a raise. Skyla has been given a raise as Hair Norris for supervisor for superior work performance. She will now make an additional $10 an hour for a grand total of $53 an hour and has received a bonus of $1,850. You guys, that's amazing. She's actually going to be able to purchase a decently nice computer. And I think think she's actually going to purchase a nicer bed as well we can get rid of this air mattress and get a bed that actually feels good um i think we're gonna go with maybe this one i think this one feels much more skyla i think we're gonna go with that and then we still have 700 more dollars so i think what we might do is is we may get we may go ahead and get a mirror for the bathroom because I did not do that previously so we're gonna go ahead and grab that and then we may do a little upgrading on our on our trailer here so um, let's do this kind of like that and then for the bedroom maybe we'll do maybe we'll do this kind of lighter blue yeah i think i like that a little bit better and then for the baby's room oh what are we gonna do for the baby's room i don't know if it's gonna be a boy or a girl so i don't i don't want to go too crazy with it but let's just do that and then i think we'll use the same um we'll use the same kind of paint and wallpaper and everything in uh in this room and then let's go ahead and kind of update this flooring as well. Um, because I think it would be nice to kind of just have wood flooring throughout the house. That's kind of nice. And then maybe what we'll do is we'll add some different tiling in the kitchen area. Like when you first walk in. Yeah, I kind of like that. I like that. I like that. Okay. Um, and then I think in the bedrooms, maybe we'll do, maybe we'll do carpet um, in the bedrooms, but like a nicer carpet than what was in here previously. There we go. There we go. And she still has like $700. And I think we're going to, I think we're going to leave it there for right now because I don't want to spend too much money, but I think what she's going to do is that she's going to come in and she is going to apply to universities. And then, of course, she's also going to apply for uh, some scholarships as well. Perfect. Okay, so I think that was all of the scholarships that she can apply for. So she's going to go ahead and use the bathroom. Um, I think she's just going to have a quick meal. Um, maybe she'll just have an acai bowl. Uh, for dinner and then she's gonna go to sleep she is exhausted um and she has her ultrasound tomorrow which is really freaking exciting all right you guys it's about 8 30 in the morning and skyla just woke up so she's gonna come in and use the bathroom because you know she's pregnant she has to pee really bad so and then she's gonna go ahead and take a quick shower and then, of course, she's got to make some breakfast. So I think we'll do scrambled eggs with bacon this time. Winterfest is tomorrow. So that's really exciting. I think uh, Skyla, of course, is going to go over and spend Winterfest, um, you know, with her family. And she's just kind of watching some TV this morning while she eats her breakfast. Her ultrasound appointment Um is actually at 11 so she she really needs to get going don't d no wash your dishes right here what the heck is even wrong with you so of course silas and maria are going with her to her ultrasound scan serenity and jade are also going to be there um, and Dwayne is actually going to come as well, uh, because Dwayne is here 
in Newcrest uh, visiting, I guess we'll say. he's Maybe he's got family here or something, um, and, and he's visiting uh, family. So I hate how she's got the pregnancy walk style, but has no pregnant belly. <laughs> and I know that she feels sad right now, and it's because, you know, her grandpa died a couple days ago, and... It's been really hard on her, um, but we have our ultrasound. Oh, she's rubbing her belly. Oh my gosh, did you guys see that? That was so cute. Oh my goodness. Okay, so our ultrasound scan is here. It is only one baby, thank goodness, but let's find out the gender, you guys. I'm so freaking excited. It's a girl. It's a girl. Oh my goodness. Skyla's going to have a little girl. Oh my gosh, you guys. So I think what I want Skyla to do, because she got, um, because she got that big uh, kind of um, bonus from work, um, I think what I want her to do is I want to have her call her dad and invite her dad over. Um the, so that she can repay the loan um, that he gave her because she definitely wouldn't just not pay him back. You know what I mean? So let's go ahead and invite him in. And let's go ahead and repay that $500 loan. She's like, I actually got a huge bonus at work, Dad. So thank you so much for loaning me the money. Here's everything back that you gave me he's like skyla i'm so freaking proud of you you're doing so great and maria's telling her she's like you know your dad was really upset when he found out you were pregnant but he's so proud of you skyla and we are going to love this baby so much and she's like thank you maria it's you know they said it was a girl and um i've been thinking and i think i already have a name picked out for her maria's like really you have a name picked out already and skyla's like yeah um i think i'm gonna name her after my mom maria's just kind of smiling she's like i think that's a great idea so skyla is off to work i think we are gonna go ahead and end this episode here um I think I said last episode was going to be the final episode of season two, but I think this episode is going to be the final episode of season two. Um, so we will kick off season three uh, here in just a few days. Um, I'm just kind of finishing up, wrapping up a few things uh, with season two, and then we'll kick off season three of Silas's story. I'm so freaking excited, you guys. Um I think season three, we will focus mainly on Skyla and the baby. Of course, we will still play with Silas and Maria. Um, we'll go through their wedding. And um, of course, the kids will be aging up and um, everything like that. So it, it'll be fun. It'll be a great time. We'll kick off with Winterfest um, next season in the first episode, I think. So I'm not going to play too much off camera or anything like that. Just, um, you know, fixing up a couple of things. But Thank you guys so, so much for all the love and support. And um, if you are not already subscribed to the channel, make sure that you do hit that subscribe button. And I will see you all next time. Have a fantastic rest of your week. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.